techno. Would you like Chick fil A sauce, sir? What the fuck is this? Taken from the woods just outside. The next story played. Uploaded five minutes ago. It was another video of my house. Let's go! Jeez, tweaking. Bro, I would never, ever, 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 ever look at the cuts. Bro, I never, ever stop for his hiker, bro. I'm sorry. Never, ever, ever, ever. Bro, do you think it's better to sleep in your car or like a, a pleasant inn like this? Because I don't trust things like this, bro. But then even your car is kind of wild. She's tripping. She's just reading her book outside. Hell no. Nah. Windows open. She's tripping. Oh shit. Nigga, hell no. Is she s still sitting down? Fuck no! Oh, she's fucked. She's better than me, bro. I would have froze. Damn, she's locked in. She's locked in. Ew, ew. Look at the fucking... Alright, we gotta go.
Bruh, she left her bag, her car. I mean, not her car, her ID. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. You gotta make it to the car. Just gotta make it to the car. Jesus And then it keeps walking for the next person. His dumb ass. That's nasty, bro. Bruh, I thought I seen a fucking spider. This only says OnlyFans horror animation. All right, this has to be the last one that I'm gonna sleep. First of all, all right, this is two, welcome back. It says two true OnlyFans horror stories animated. With these stories though, right? Why do they always have like a guy speaking for the girl? And then like, I don't know, the voices just be throwing me off sometimes, but here it is. We're probably gonna do only the first one. I earned enough money to get by but always had dreams of traveling to another country and studying abroad. Okay. If I was ever going to make that dream a reality, I needed another source of income. It was around that time that OnlyFans Shit. started blowing up. For the two people listening who don't know what that is, OnlyFans is a website where people, That's mostly nuts. women, share pictures and videos with paying subscribers. This is usually uh, mature content. It's pretty controversial. With some people being all for the platform. Very controversial. Saying it's sleazy and gross. I'd heard a few stories about women making fat stacks from the comfort of their own homes. Said fat and stacks. even though I'm no Belle Delphine, I figured, yeah, what the hell? Maybe I can earn a few extra bucks too. I made an account and recorded a little intro message for any prospective followers. Then I took my first raw. She's maxing of off rip. I'd cast it out my net. No, I just had to wait for a few fish. Bro, how does that work, though? How does that work, though? Because, like, let's say you're starting one, but you have, like, no, like, motion, bro. So you're just posting yourself for, like, nobody to see or, like, one person to see. I feel like that's so awkward. After a few weeks, I'd attracted a few followers, all of whom were subscribed for $10 a month. Damn. Some of them even gave me tips or paid me extra for exclusive content. Jesus. I made a promise to myself that whatever money I earned through the site would go directly into my travel fund. And as soon as I had enough money to go globetrotting, I'd stop using the platform altogether. Let's go. In the meantime, I had a lot of work to do at my real job. One afternoon, I was at a business conference, networking alongside my co-workers. Where I live, business cards are still a formality, even for low-level grunts like me. I feel like one of her and co-workers... I dozens to prospective clients who seemed interested in working with our company. No, that she does. Honestly, I met so many new people that day, all of them in similar suits and with similar haircuts, that all of their faces and names seemed to blur together in my memory. I returned home, exhausted from the socializing. That evening before bed, I logged into my OnlyFans account to check how things were going. Oh, great. I had a new subscriber. This new guy, who went by the unassuming username, John Smith, I think it's sent one me a direct message as soon as he saw I was active. Ten bucks a month? Netflix doesn't even charge that. <laughs> it's worth it. You won't be disappointed. So far, I like what I'm seeing. You're very beautiful. Great. Oh, thank you so much. He sent me a few more friendly messages, asking me pretty innocent questions, like if I had a dog. He's about to max. He's if trying to butter her up. Anyone, I wasn't. And if I lived with my parents. 
I lived with a roommate who was away that week. He shouldn't have said that. She should have just said I live with a roommate. No, you really are. He, she should have just said I live with a roommate. Thank you. I bet you get down more often than a blow up doll, right? What does that even mean? Oh. <laughs> Can I make a request? Like a picture request? It depends what it is and what you tip me. If I give you five bucks right now, would you take a picture of yourself pouting into the camera? Well, it had been a what long day. What the fuck? But even though I was tired, I wanted the money. So I quickly dolled myself up and took the picture for the guy. I sent the picture, which he could unlock for five dollars. He unlocked it and seemed pleased with what I'd sent. No more than a minute later, he sent me another request. He bought the max. How about one of your pretty feet now? I'll pay you another five. Sure, whatever you want. I'll never get what's up with some guys and feet. But of course I took the picture for him and sent it. Again, behind a five dollar paywall. He made a couple more requests, each time paying me five bucks. Easy money, I thought. One of me in high heels, one of me in such and such a position, etc. Then, he sent me another request. This time, for ten dollars. Okay, what's the ten dollar one? Me on Instagram. Fuck no. He included his account name in the message. Ten bucks just to add a guy on Instagram? Sure, why not? I hadn't updated my Insta for over a year. And only had a couple of posts on there anyway. He about to find where she lives. I took his ten dollars and added him. Strange. There weren't any posts on his account. Uh, duh. His blank profile picture was highlighted. Meaning he had recently added to his Instagram story. Just out of curiosity, I clicked on it to see what he had posted. Outside her house. Don't do this to me. It was a video of my Outside house. Outside her fucking posted house. Two hours ago. Taken from the woods just outside. The next story played, uploaded five minutes ago. It was another video of my house, this time much closer, taken from the other side of the street. What's the last one? The video zoomed in on my bedroom window. How does the he know exactly? The was fuck, fuck. The room I was in. The third story, uploaded just two minutes ago, Our front door. was taken from just outside my porch window. He was right outside my front door. Filming the inside of my house through the glass. A message called the police. Let me in. Terrified, I locked my bedroom door immediately and called the police, telling them that someone was outside my house. All the while, he continued DMing me. Come outside, or I'll have to come in. What the fuck does that mean? The door handle downstairs started rattling as I cowered in fear upstairs, waiting hopelessly for help to arrive. Screaming out of my bedroom window for help. This wasn't the best neighborhood, let's put it like that. And my neighbors either couldn't hear me, or didn't want to help. The guys rattling on the door handle turned into banging, then slamming. Suddenly, everything downstairs fell silent. Bro, the police are still not here yet? Gone. But after a few minutes, I could hear tapping on the downstairs windows. And shortly after that, the smashing of glass. No, she how did he get in the house? That he had used a rock to smash the living room window. Not thirty seconds later, I could hear sirens off in the distance. Thank God, thank God, thank God. By the time an officer arrived to check that I was okay, the guy was long gone. I told the investigators everything. They patrolled the area to look for any suspicious looking guys, found nobody, and suggested Jeez. I stay somewhere else for a while. I asked them to hang around while I packed a bag. As I got in my car to drive to my parents' place, I checked my phone one last time. She's there about to follow the car. In my OnlyFans DM box. Pleasure doing business with you. I told my parents everything that had happened and tried my best to get some sleep. That night, I was plagued with questions. Who was John Smith? What was he planning on doing? How did he know where I lived? Nah, My he's a fucking creep. Was, of course, not available on OnlyFans. I was relatively new to town and didn't know many people in the area. It had to have been one of the business guys. The next day, I pieced two and two together. It had to have been. My business card. It didn't just have my company address on, but mine as well. The fact this happened the night after that networking event couldn't have been a coincidence. Nope. Oh. I'm convinced that the creep was one of the people I'd met that day. Using the information on the card, he must have found my account online 
and decided to pay me a visit. Jesus. I passed that information along to the authorities, along with the dozens of business cards I collected that day. This, of course, resulted in nothing. There was no evidence to speak of, and the Insta account was obviously a throwaway. Damn. I realize now that he was asking me those friendly questions at the start to see if I lived alone and to check I didn't have a guard dog. Yeah. Needless to say, I quit using the site. I've moved back in with my parents permanently now, but can't afford to give up my job at the consultancy firm. Now, whenever I go into work and meet with our clients, I put on a brave face. Yeah, I'd be but Nick. But inside, I'm always questioning whether the guy I'm working with is the same one who was outside my house that night. Gee. Nah, they got it. Oh, fucking shit. This is that Chick-fil-A sauce one, bro. I've been seeing her all over my t uh, timeline. Well, not as much recently, but yeah. Here to go to Chick-fil-A sauce thing. I wonder how he's gonna fuck this up. Fuck, 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 fuck. And how is he allowed to put the actual Chick-fil-A name and the logo and everything right here? Oh, shit. Hello? Ah, damn it. I always want Chick-fil-A on the Sunday. Yo, Sunday. he's maxing. Hey, hey are, are you guys open or what? Uh, the door was unlocked. Are you guys open or? Okay, yep, definitely closed. Okay, definitely. I should not be here. Just go Listen. home. Does someone need help? Hello? He should have just minded his fucking business, bro. Oh, Is everything okay in here? Hello? Why? He's dead. He's done. What the f- Hey, are you okay? I heard screaming and I- Or at least what I thought was screaming. Would you like Chick-fil-A sauce, sir? No, no. What are you talking about? Hey, hey, hey! What the f- Fuck, 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 fuck. Hello? Okay. Uh, yeah, there's no getting out, bro. <laughs> Would you like Chick fil A sauce, sir? What the fuck is this? No Chick fil A sauce? Really? It's our pleasure, sir. What the fuck? Which way do I go? Oh god! So, would you like a Chick fil A sauce? Uh, uh, no! Uh. What is that? Don't drink it. Sir, would you like any Chick-fil-A sauce with that? Old 
Bro, what the fuck is that?